In this video, I'm going to be giving you a critical tip for your flood plays in Madden 23 and how to make flood concepts truly unguardable in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free. Also, I have a free ebook that teaches the five cornerstone passing principles of every offense in Madden. If you want to get that ebook completely for free, the link is down in the description. You can learn the five step passing system that literally every pro offense has used in the last like as long as I can be playing or as long as I've been playing, I've been playing Madden since 2011 um, or like at a serious level. And this ebook encompasses everything from a, from a step passing system, progressional concept based teaching um, that will really, I think help you take your Madden game to the next level. So if you want to get it completely for free, the link is in the description. Um, I do also have a Patreon. That's where you can actually get access to all of my full schemes and full ebooks. Uh, that link is down there as well. The play we're taking a look at today is P.A. Slot Cross out of the Washington playbook. This is also in the Detroit playbook. We're in the Detroit playbook today. And I want to talk about this concept. It's one of the best plays in Madden um, for a lot of different reasons, right? But what makes this play so good is its versatility. Um, its versatility is what makes this play so good. This play can beat man. It can, play, it can beat zone. In fact, if you guys know who Astro is, he was a uh, Madden Bull. I believe he got to the semifinals, I want to say, in Madden 22. And he also went pretty far, I think, in the ultimate wild card. Henry ended up knocking him out two years in a row. But one of the best players in Madden. In fact, a lot of people consider him to be one of the top offensive minds in the game. And Astro pretty much ran this specific play, not the same setup, but PA slot cross on a variations of this play all throughout his tournament run and really perfected this play because it is truly so versatile. So uh, today, the setup that I'm going to be showing, showing you is one of my personal favorites. It's a flood concept um, and a variation of it using this nice little inverted uh, kind of poster or corner route. And then it has this little drag right here to Vada Scantling. So the only setup we're going to do, you don't need Hot Route Master, you don't need anything for this. You're just going to fade your tight end, and you're going to slant Julian Edelman. And what you're going to do is you're going to motion him outside. This motion out slant is really one of the best routes in the game at beating man coverage. Notice that I said motioned out slant. Not motion to cross slant. That is decent for beating man, but motion to out slant is really the secret sauce. Um, and you see this out of bunch. You see this out of a lot of formations. That little throw right there where you can free form down and inside. Very, very effective throw for attacking man. It attacks zone really well as well. Now, if they are going to play zone, I'm rocking several different inside shades. But what you'll notice here is this route to Valdez Scantling is one of the best man beaters in the game. By far one of the best clear-cut man-beating drag routes um, in the game. So we're going to treat that. Against zone, it's going to be almost like a flat. And against man, it's going to be like a crosser. Now, the other thing we have is this route to uh, Michael Irvin. Now, this route is something that you can, if you do have high route master, there are some things that you can do with this route. This route, I do believe, is better um, with certain things. If they have inside shade, that right there, that little animation right there can be a little bit of a thing. So my recommendation is to try to get this um, as far outside as possible. You're trying to basically freeform him down and outside and possession catch it away from the KO. That is really, really important. If you are playing although someone that's running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, really important that you're freeforming down away and you possession catch it like that right there. Okay? So that's how this play does against man. Very high level concept um, against man. What about like a baseline press cover four? Well, this is why we want to utilize this fade route. And what you're going to notice is this fade route, especially, it's also really important that when you want to run a flood concept, you run it to the short side of the field if you are running it out of a compression set. Um, so we'll show you kind of a, a couple things real quick. So I'm going to show it to you first like this, and I'll show you why we put the fade out there. So what you'll see here is you can just ag catch this in zone against cover four. And that's baseline press cover four, which is the best version, uh, in my opinion, for stopping flood concepts. Now, if I flip this play and I run the same exact setup, but I run that same setup to the right or um, to the wide side of the field. So the wide side of the field just means 
if I'm on the right hash, the wide side would be towards the left. If I'm on the left hash, the wide side would be towards the right. The hash mark is where the ball's at right here. That's the right hash mark. The left one is, you know, a couple yards to the left there. So just kind of for those of you that don't know that. What you'll see here is this fade route is great, but it doesn't clear out the zone. And as you see, that outside quarter can now be able to play um, that route significantly better. However, if I was to be on the left hash, right, if I just move the ball over here and we run the same exact concept, right, that we just ran, but now the only thing that's changed is now we are to the short side of the field and we put that fade out there, a lot of times what you're going to notice here is that this corner – is going to get open against cover four. Super, super important that you understand why this play and why this concept is effective. Now, another tip that uh, that I have for you is to utilize fade routes. A lot of pro players this year figured out that if you fade the inside guy, it will basically make it better. If I don't fade this guy against baseline press cover four, the, the grid system really messes up. And as you can see, the quarter can play this. The fade, what it does is it takes one step to the outside. That one step is really important because of the grid in which it puts the the grid in which it puts the tight end. What I mean when I say grid, zones are based off of grid systems in the game. And so when you can put a threat, as you see here, in that grid, he has to respect that. And now you can throw your corner out consistently. Now, what makes this corner route so good is several things. Number one, it's really good against man. Number two, and I think more, even more importantly, let's say they run like a cover two style. So let's say we get like a, you know, let's say we get like a double Mabel um, um, cover two. Okay. What you're going to notice here is the inversion of the route makes it so that it runs almost like a like a streak down the sideline. And so you see how deep that gets. And so if I was to go into my coaching adjustments and I was to put my zone drops on 30, okay, even though that's a typically a pretty good strategy for defending any kind of like flood concept, and I'm gonna back, I'm gonna back off those clouds as well, uh, so that you can get kind of the full picture of what we're seeing here. But the beauty of this route is because of the the style, the way in which he runs that corner route it makes it almost impossible to stop in zone because all you have to do is free form it up and there the 30 yard cloud did actually play it. Sometimes he'll run it a little bit poorly, but typically what I found is like I said in the beginning, you can almost throw this like a streak route if he runs it the right way uh, to the sideline. So if you're playing, you know, some type of double Mabel coverage, Obviously, you have the whole middle of the field open. You can throw your backside slant, throw your backside routes. But if you freeform and high ball straight up, just like that right there, you're going to be able to get this ball up and over the top of a 30-yard cloud. To me, that is super valuable, super, super valuable. Because now I can trust this play against any zone in the game. It doesn't matter if it's cover three. It doesn't matter if it's cover two. It doesn't matter if it's cover four. I mean, it's just, it's really hard to stop this play in zone. Here's cover three, and you see again, same basic thing. So it leads me to my last coverage that I want to go over with you guys today, and that is match coverage. Match coverage is not terrible um, for this, and the main reason why is because the running back and where he's at on the field. Um, this, this coverage will actually... Um, it has a chance to guard this. So what you're going to see against match coverage is basically a one-on-one -on -one between Michael Irvin and the outside quarter zone. So what you'll see here, you get that match. You can kind of throw that, but as you can see, it's dicey. It's not It's not 100% clean. Now, the thing that you do have against match, though, is you have several other options. You have the slant. You have the backside drag uh, or the, the backside slant and as well as the drag. Those are two really good routes for attacking match coverage, all right? This route will, if you freeform down outside, if he doesn't have KO, you can throw that against match. So just keep some of that in mind as you look at this. But the main play, um, if I do ever need to check down with this play, the beauty of it is all I have to do is this crosser is so freaking good against zone, man, match, it doesn't matter. It is really, really, really powerful. Now what that means is they're gonna have to user 
the 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 route to about a scantling. And now all of a sudden what you're going to have is this backside little slant, motion slant, that's going to get in this real soft spot of zones, and it's really, really hard to defend this. So this is probably the most versatile play in Madden because you can run every every one of the five main passing concepts from this play, and you can run it at a very high level and play action dumbs out a lot of blitzes. So this is one of my favorite passing concepts in the game. I hope that this video was helpful, and if you want to learn my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you head down to the Patreon and go click the link down in the description.